We're here at Hamcation with Mike Walker from Flex Radio. We are going to get an update on the new Maestro and some other things that uh, Flex has been working on. So take it away, Mike, Jeez. since it's Sunday morning. I don't even have it in my hand, so let me go get it. <laughs> so we have uh, the long awaited for and embarrassing taking forever to, to get out the door Maestro. Um, Due to a variety of, of very valid technical issues, which I'm sure we've told that story many times, Kyle. But so here it is. We've got about how many here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot. A lot. Um, I'll fess up. Some of the problems we you know, that keep delaying things. You know, you just can't ship it till it's ready. And sometimes, you know, you order you know a few hundred plastic backs, and you get them, and they're not right, and it takes a while to get new ones. So the ones here, if you were here and looked at them, they actually have 3D printed plastic backs. I actually looked well, at it and went, are pretty I, nice. I, I thought it was pretty darn nice. But uh, anyway, so looks like the same old Maestro on the front, looks like the same old Maestro on the back, and that's where it all ends. Uh, we have a device that will run on a, um, a very common battery you can get worldwide. Shipping batteries is a nightmare, by the way, for any vendor. Um, but uh, the RRC battery, I don't know if we could zoom in here. Yep. And so... Um, it's a big ass battery. Can I say that? I just, I just did. It'll run this. Do you want to know? Do you know how long this will run for? Uh, I'm gonna guess ten hours. Ten hours. Did you know that already? You, you told me. I already told you. <laughs> ten hours, and it charges in an hour. So. Uh, and that's a seven. Uh, but yeah, seven amp hour. Seven amp hour battery. Now, the power connector here on the back. Yeah, you can start yelling at me now, but that's okay. It's 24 volts, uh, it comes with a 24 volt power supply, the Maestro does, charges the battery right in here, so you can just leave it the way it is and plug it in and out. Charges in an hour? Yeah, and charges in an hour. Uh, and if we do have an external charger available from RRC, if you want to charge it uh, any other way. Um, I mean, it's, it's actually been, you know, it's got some little nitty bugs, but I've been using mine for a week and it's been great. So you got all the standard connections yes, that it, had on the Maestro A and B, right? Yeah, this one's missing the label. Again, it's prototype, but it's a prototype more of a cabinet. Everything else is correct, ready to go. Uh, so everything is one eighth inch, either TRS or T or TS TS. or TRRS, which is tip ring sleeve. Or the key one is the bottom one is where your headset goes. We've now moved to CTIA as the standard. It's the most common standard today. TRRS, same as an Apple uh, ah. connector. So we will have, um, the good news is, if you're freaking out about that, uh, a simple Y cable from Amazon breaks that out into mic and headset. Push to talk is a 1 8 inch uh, push to talk. TS. Uh, TS, you can use a TRS, you don't use the R. And the line out, uh, CW key, and um, I forgot what the other one is. Uh, speaker out. Speaker out, yeah. Speaker out, line out, key in, PTT, mic. Right, it's Sunday morning, right? Yep. So here on the side, oh, by the way, the big red light, if you see it, is a diagnostic light for us, so uh, it's going to be dimmed way down. So we have two connectors on the side. One of them looks a lot like a LAN connector. Uh, and then we're supplying a 90 degree, so it comes off flush. And uh, we will have a folding HD, or can I say it out loud? HD. M. I. I. Yeah, they're supposed to pay royalties every time you say that. We'll break it up. All right. Uh, and so HDMI, so you can have an external display hooked up to it um, as well. Uh, I think it's 1920 by. 1080? 1080 is the resolution. The screen went black. It's good. It's good. And um, so that's good. And so that's really handy. And uh, like I love the 10 hours. We walk around with it here. We all had it in our desk. And we, you know, we, we, we do testing like we make it fail and charge. And it, we, some of the other you know, delays were, and Anna, an engineering, told me this going, we have never, I guess I could fess this up, doing power management's new to us. Yeah. Okay, so we have to go through all the corner cases. There was something else where the early, early the first alphas had to be tested. And, they worked out really well, but we found we had to change a chip resistor. Like one chip resistor from one valley, like I don't know what it was, 320 ohms to 220 ohms or something like that. And you know, when you, just to fix little yeah. things. Yeah, so, you, fi you find thing, little things. Yeah. So what is, the, the layout is the same from the A and the Bs, right? Um, 
the power button here. Oh, is, the power button. Yeah, Thank let's you. talk about the power button. So the power button looks like the M models. Uh, so you can just, you know, I'm going to touch it. It taps off. It shuts down. Uh, none of this press and hold. Yep. And that was because there was a tablet in behind and the button had to align with the button on the tablet. And the tablet, you know, when we first did the first Maestro back about 2016 was the right way to go. And uh, it, it solved a lot of uh, interface issues. And now I just tap it and it's going to boot up. It actually boots up pretty quickly. And so there's a, this is a display. Tell us about this display. Um, it's this. Not, not part of the tablet, but it is part of a display. Right. And uh, then there's a CPU. I don't think they want me to say what make it is in the back. But the screen is the same size as the original, but Correct. the resolution is greater. A little bit greater. It's uh, and we use eight. We you know this is part of the holdup. We used eight inch displays. We thought seven was just a bit too small because we're all going blind. Yep. So we decided to go with stay with the eight inch. So if you look at any other ham radio, it's probably either seven inch display or I think like my 991 is a four inch display and. Uh, so we're watching this boot up in real time, and yep. uh, hopefully we're planning to ship around the third week, start shipping about third week of February. So if you have one in order, we don't call us, we'll call you sort of thing. We expect to have a lot of questions about microphone adapters and stuff. And so right. we're working on some flows to make it easy for us to get the information we need from you. But Radio Sport headsets, uh, they have a cable. If you have a Radio Sport headset, you can order it plugged right in the back. The RS55 portable headset, the Traveler, beautiful headset, plugs right in. Uh, I've used the Y cable and hooked up my other Radio Sport headset. Uh, and they so work we're, to... we're going to get some questions about headsets, but there's Go going to. to... Yep, and um, but there are cables available. It's not that hard. Yeah, don't don't call me about your D104 <laughs> type of thing. We had this conversation this morning. Remember, it's Sunday morning, right? A Sunday little more morning. latitude here. Uh, <laughs> we'll edit this down, but, too. And eventually, and it's not ready yet, we'll have, if you have a Flex Hand Mic 3, you know how you can unclip? Oh, yeah. We will have a cable that plugs right in. It's not going to be ready in time. Uh, but, you know, you could clue something together and right. make it work. Uh, most of the connectors, other than the power connector, are um, generally easily available. So you Is it going to come with a stand, too? comes with a fixed stand. And we have a newly designed tilt feet. Yeah, I like that. And but this is fixed. I, I have two maestros, one with fixed feet and one with tilt feet. I never really noticed the difference. Yeah. I, and uh, uh, if you have old tilt feet, they'll fit. Although we thought uh, the engineering guys that designed it uh, decided it sort of looked a little off in height, so they built different feet. So. And a front firing speaker. Front firing speaker. Yeah, a little oval speaker here. Yep. Surprisingly useful. In a quiet room. Yeah, um, the, the volume on it is great. I love mine. Yep. And the one thing about, if you've never seen a Maestro before, all these buttons are the ones we use all the time. I'm sure you can figure out what these two do. Yep. And then we, if you're in sideband, you know, this would be your mic gain. And if you're CW, this would be your speed. Your speed. And then the odor is power. And this, you know, volume and uh, AGCT, which is like an RF gain and a flex radio and filter controls. And those are the buttons you use all the, the time. You you only use I only use three buttons on my flex. That's yep. or on my maestro. That's all. That's yep. it. Same story, right? Yeah. So, and then anything else you use more often is buried down one menu, one layer, maybe two. Very well laid out. Okay, I'm doing something in CW or sideband. CW sideband. I'm changing audio, and yep. it's, you don't even need to crack the manual to figure out what they do. Very good. One of the things we do, by the way, in every Flex radio, and I don't know why no, anybody else does it, is it's amazing that if you want to set your mic gain and if you're an HF operator, your mic level or your ALC control is your number one thing to set. And I'm going to preach that till I die that, you know, don't look at the watt meter, look at your mic gain. On a Flex radio, you can turn it on so that your mic level meter works without going into transmit. Yes, which is nice. Which is nice. nice. You don't have to feature. go on the air or into a dummy load, um, but we're the only people that do that, I think. So yeah, I think so. I think the only people that could else do it might be the guys across the street, street. there yep. at Ellicraft. Uh, but uh, yeah, please, if you're on sideband and not sure if you're driving the radio correctly, grab the manual. I don't care what radio you use. Look at how you set the mic level. There is a, I will link it in the description below. There is a great video that you did with Tim during COVID about how to set your AGC 
and your mic level yeah. and all of those levels. It is great. Every every Flex u user should watch that video. Yeah, and you should be here because you can get buttons and stickers and meet us. <laughs> yes. Sunday morning's not a good time to meet us, so no, we decided it's <laughs> Sunday morning. Yeah. We're, uh, all we're, joking we're, aside, it's, uh, it's we're, great. We're stumbling over words and just trying to survive on Sunday morning. So, all right. That's all I got. Very good. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Uh, link in the description below with all your Flex stuff. Watch the channel. I got a ton of Flex stuff on my channel. And um, yeah, looking forward to the new Maestro. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Hey, We're going to record in right now, yeah, but. All right, now, yeah, I, now I see the icon. You're a little high. That's right. Oh, that'll work too. <laughs> I was going to tilt it. All right. It's Sunday morning. It's, it's Sunday morning. <laughs> we're, all, we're all beat. All right. My, uh, we're here at uh, Hamcation with Mike Walter. Oh, Mike who? <laughs> Take two. It's Sunday morning. Oh, all right. Focus. Focus, Mike. That goes to the end in the outtake. Right. All right.